In today's video, we are going to be going over the next five beginner longboard tricks that are in my trick list. If you guys have not seen the first part of this video, which are the first five tricks, I recommend to go check that out. I'll go ahead and leave that link down below in the comments in the description. But anyways, we're just going to go ahead and dive right into the next five tricks. There's no specific order to any of these tricks. You can always just go for which one seems the most fitting for you, the most comfortable, the most interesting. But again, in total, all 10 of these tricks are just in my opinion very good beginner starter tricks and a lot of these are tricks that I learned when I was just first starting out with longboarding. The pivot, then we went ahead and learned the cross step, moving on to the ghost ride, the ghost ride kick flip, and then lastly we ended on the backside nollie shove it. Moving on to the next trick which will be the first one in this video is our very first hand trick which is a boneless. when you grab the board with one hand, plant your front foot on the ground, and jump before landing back on your deck. One reason why I love boneless tricks is because uh, they're super great when it comes to variation. You can get super creative with these tricks. And overall, they're super fun. I know there's a lot of different ways that people do these boneless tricks. The way I'm going to show you guys how to do a boneless is the way I feel is the most common and also the most comfortable. So riding forward, I set up a boneless by crouching down and grabbing the right side of my board with my right hand, the opposite if you're goofy. Second step is to then plant your front foot to the left side of your deck, which is going to be the opposite side of where you are grabbing the board. After your front foot leaves your board, all your weight should shift to your back foot, which will be set up and placed already on that kicktail, causing your board to pop up in the air. Next up, we'll be jumping on that foot that got planted on the ground and using your hand that's grabbing the board not only to help lift the deck, but to help guide it to where you want it to go. In this case, we're keeping it simple, so you're just going to lift it forward and let go at its peak. So jump back on board and then ride away clean. For foot placement, I like to have my heels hanging off, making it more easy for that front foot to slide off the deck. The ball of my back foot will be on the heart of that kicktail to really give it that pop. And also my legs will be more spread apart, keeping good balance overall over the board. I'd say my front foot will be about 75% of the board. And of course this isn't specifically required, but go ahead and try it and if it doesn't work for you, try something new. Learning new tricks, it's all about trial and error, so. With this trick, you're gonna have to practice comfortably stepping off the board and also planting your foot on the ground. I think that'll be the biggest obstacle for this trick, but just remember to take it slow, break it down into separate steps, um, those steps that we talked about. As for landing, be sure to face and lean towards the nose of your board. So as soon as your feet land back on the deck, your body weight is flowing in the same direction as the deck and you're not falling off the side of your board. Moving on to our next trick, which is my favorite trick on this list, and that is the front side no comply 180. that's a no comply is a trick where your front foot takes a single step and is planted on the ground. If your popping foot decides to take that extra step then it's no longer considered a no comply. For this trick both your body and your board will be turning front side 180 degrees. You're going to start by winding up those shoulders and really turning your body before planting your front foot to the left side of your board and popping the deck in sort of an outward scoop motion. Back foot will guide the board as it finishes the rotation and you'll hop back on as it's close to making contact with the ground again. It's really important to lean forward in this trick to keep the deck as close as possible to you throughout the no comply. One way to help with this is to focus on keeping your chest parallel over the board. In my opinion, it's also important to work on this trick while moving instead of being in a stationary position. Lean into the trick towards where you're planting your front foot. before you adjust your weight and launch yourself forward. I like to move my front foot that's planted on the ground out of the way right before the deck lands back on the ground to help avoid contact between my leg and the board. My front foot that's placed on the floor also gives me that greater launch off the ground. I use my front foot to really help push me forward along with my board keeping momentum and speed in the roll away of the trick. You don't exactly have to get this down right away. Practice that strong outward scoop pop motion and take a few bunny hops 
um, on that front foot to get out of the way but still land on your board when you're ready and roll away even though you didn't exactly do the trick super clean. This is just to practice the motion and get a feel for those separate steps and then soon everything will just come together faster and faster over time. You can wait for the board to hit the ground before jumping back on. I feel like this is gonna help with confidence more and it's also safer. Remember, it is okay to take it slow at first. I would recommend to try and land at least one of these in every session. The backside no comply shove it. This is our second no comply on this list. In this trick, you'll be landing in your original stance with the board doing a backside shove it 180 degree rotation. No turn of your body whatsoever in any direction. You're gonna continue facing forward while you plant your front foot to the left side of your deck, the right side of your goofy, and scooping a backside shove it motion, turning that board 180 degrees. You'll start by planting your front foot uh, and then using your back foot to scoop, but mainly pop the kicktail slightly angled towards that front foot that was planted on the ground before. Your feet should be pretty close to each other by the time the kicktail makes contact with the floor. By the time you pop the board, it'll have caught up with the foot that was planted on the ground, so they should be fairly right by each other. Your back foot will stay connected with the face of your deck the entire time, making its way up the board, keeping it from flipping or over-rotating. Again, you're going to use that front foot that's planted to sort of launch yourself into the air and over your board, finishing off that trick after that back foot that steezy back foot catch. When it comes to weight adjustment, there's going to be a lot of similar tips going back to that front side no comply 180. Remember to really keep those shoulders over your board and keep an eye on your deck so you really know when to stomp on that board once it's done the full rotation. Also similar foot placement with the front side no comply 180. You're gonna have the toes hanging off just a tiny bit. For the most part, the ball of your back foot will be in the heart of the kicktail. The rest is all about the direction of the pop and scoop, which again will be that backside shove it motion. Your front foot will chill just a smudge bit over the center of your longboard. This doesn't have to be exact, but it, you are going to angle it slightly towards the nose. Having your feet spread apart will also give you more control over your board, so it'll force you to really stay above it. You can practice this trick by working on the pop and scoop of that 180 degree rotation in a stationary position. Try and keep the board in front of you, and maybe focus on getting a clean shove it motion at a comfortable speed. Next trick on our list is is called a pirouette. Honestly, these are so fun and they just look mad cool and super steezy. With enough practice and commitment, you can get these down in no time. A pirouette is a 360 rotation or spin of your body as your board continues rolling on the pavement. In this case, we're gonna be working on these front side. We're gonna go ahead and start with foot placement. Both your feet will be placed somewhere between the bolts of your deck off of those kicktails. Your back foot will be where you're comfortable having it as if you were just kind of cruising around. But the front foot is what's crucial about this trick. This will be the foot that you'll be spinning on, so we'll have that foot placed in the middle of your deck cheated at an angle where it's pointed out far towards the direction of where your body will be spinning. This will help get your body spinning faster and overall just set you up for the landing where you'll land back in your original position, bending your knees for extra stability and balance. Before you throw your body into the 360 pirouette, you're going to really wind up those shoulders. As soon as your back foot leaves contact with your board, you release that throw of your upper body and kind of just let yourself flow until you make it all the way around, catching yourself back into position with that back foot. I like to keep my eyes on the deck all the way through um, just to see where my back foot will end up. You'll be spinning on the ball of your upper front foot, almost on your toes, like a ballerina, like a dancer. I do these as if I'm taking a big portion of my weight off of the board just for a split second. You can practice these by flipping your deck over and really getting a feel for the motion and process of a pirouette, working on avoiding any under-rotating or over-rotating. When you feel ready, go for it with wheels down, but just prepare yourself to lose balance. Your board may slip out beneath you a few times, so just be prepared prepared to catch yourself. As for my final trick on this list, we are going to be going over the front side tiger claw. A 
lot of you may know that one of my favorite tricks of all time is the backside tiger claw, but I actually learned these front side first. I think they're easier to catch and also it's just a more common trick for beginners to learn. In this trick, your deck will be spinning in a front side 360 rotation and your body will continue to face forward in your original stance, so no body burials in this trick unless you want to add one in for variation. Some people prefer this and is overall more comfortable, but that'll be up to you guys when you go out and try this trick. This trick consists of two steps. Once the board is popped, your front foot will be planted on the ground first, followed by your back foot, which will be that second step. The board will be spinning as you take these two steps, and then finally your front foot will be the one to catch the board once it's done rotating, giving you a super clean land. Your back foot will have your heels hanging off the kicktail. This will just really help give you that solid front side shove it pop, and then your front foot will be placed around the center of the deck, angled slightly towards the the nose again just to make it easier for you to step off the board. After you pop the board like a front side shove it, you're going to wait till the board reaches about almost 90 degrees and you're going to use your left hand to grab the deck, your right if you're goofy, and you're just going to kind of finish off the rest of the 360 rotation. That front side pop will kind of act more as the launch of this trick. So you're really going to pull that board towards you and kind of guide it the rest of the rotation. I like to let go about 200 and 70 degrees of the way through the trick. After you let go, the board should already have enough momentum to finish off the rotation. And then you'll use your back foot to launch you forward, catching the board with your front foot and rolling away clean. As I'm rotating the deck and taking those two steps, I kind of like to stick my butt out like back away so I don't get hit by the board. One thing that would really help with this trick is where you grab the board. For example, if you grab the deck too close to the kicktail, you'll most likely hit yourself with the board. So I like to grab more closer to the nose of the board. This will just give you more room to flow and be more comfortable and you'll have a less likely chance of getting hit with the board. This whole process is about trial and error. I think I said that already in this video. I have a super bad habit of repeating myself. Just remember to go out there and try new things only once you're comfortable. I hope you guys have so much fun learning these tricks. Um, I know I did when I was starting out, and I still do. I love these tricks to the absolute fullest. Once you guys get these tricks down, you can add more variations, some cross lands, some body burials, maybe add a revert or a pivot at the end, make some lines with these tricks. My overall message is to have fun and skate safe. I'm super grateful to all of you guys for watching these videos. It's super, super, super cool that a lot of you are beginning longboarding. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of these tricks these trick tips if you have any questions or let me know how your progress is going thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one